remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Jay-Z is setting the record straight after he and Beyonce were spotted sitting down during the singing of the national anthem at Super Bowl 54 in Miami. The couple drew no small amount of ire online. After a fan shot video, first published by TMZ, showed them remaining seated as Demi Lovato belted out the Star Spangled Banner. Many observers construed it as a show of solidarity with former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who became the subject of intense controversy when in 2016, he began taking a knee during the anthem at football games to protest police brutality and to stand in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. However, while speaking in front of a classroom of students at Columbia University on Tuesday night, Jay-Z refuted that characterization of the incident. When asked during a Q&A, was remaining seated meant to convey a statement, he said it really wasn't. It wasn't premeditated at all. He alluded to his role in the game's musical portions, which includes pregame and halftime performances. He says that he and Beyonce were so focused on Demi Lovato's performance that they simply forgot to stand. He said they get there and they immediately jump into artist mode. They're listening to the sound of the mic. Is it on? Is it too low? Are there too many speakers on the floor? So that's what it was all about. Didn't have nothing to do with some type of grandstand. That's what it was. The Super Bowl incident was highly criticized by conservative leaning pundits and regular clowns on social media who consider Beyonce and Jay-Z to be unpatriotic. No refuge could save the harling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. And the star-spangled banner and triumph doth wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Familiar with those words? They were written in a poem by a brutal slave owner named Francis Scott Key. He wrote it while eyewitnessing the War of 1812. This dude hated black people. He was a slave owner. Listen to what I'm saying. He owned human beings. He prayed and he wished and he advocated for police violence against black people. Let me tell you something. I don't care that only the first two verses are being recited during the playing of the national anthem. The fact is the author was a slave owner. Imagine Nat Turner writing a poem and white folks reciting it. Today, American hypocrisy about patriotism and what it really means is extremely egregious. No true patriot would be happy with what's going on in this country right now. Senseless gun deaths, the militarization of the police, useless foreign wars started by lies, a political candidate who colludes with a foreign government, to become the president of the United States of America? Politicians taking money under the table and over the table? A food and drug administration who sells out the people to big companies who they allow to put chemicals in our foods that they know that will kill us? Ain't nothing patriotic about any of that. Some of y'all got a bad screaming patriotism as you wave your U.S. flag made in China while you're riding around in your Toyotas and Subarus and your dusty drawers made in Indonesia. I got your number. You don't have a problem with people protesting injustice. You know what your problem is? 
black people protesting injustice. So I'll ask you this, all of you people out there who watch the game from home, who consider yourselves to be patriotic, who get pissed off when someone takes a knee or they sit during the playing of the national anthem. When it was performed during Super Bowl, did you get up off that couch and stand, put your hand on your heart? Of course you didn't. So STF you hypocrite. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?